Hello, welcome to the US Visa Success Series 26. So this is the 26th video. And probably after this, I will be doing uh, the types of visa denials and how you can basically work on them. And that would probably be the end of the US Visa Series. And this visa series is there on YouTube. It's there for you so that you can always watch this series, prepare yourself. And this series will help you to get your key to open the door of the US visa, student visa success. And you would be able to study in US universities and would be able to fulfill your dreams. That's the whole purpose of having this visa uh, series, US visa series. And it's very important because uh, most of the students, you know, good students, students who have got very good profile, students who have taken SAT, GMAT, GRE, prof, students who have a reasonably good TOEFL IELTS scores are getting visa refusals. And they are getting visa refusals because they are taking the US visa lightly or they are ignorant and don't know how to prepare for US visa. They have or they are registered with some counseling centers who don't provide visa services, visa counseling services or whatever the reasons that are that you are into this visa series is with the objective that all these students will get the knowledge the awareness the importance and they are able to prepare themselves for the U u.s visa and help them to get the u.s visa so that they can fulfill their dreams so that's the whole and sole purpose of having this. Nobody will share all these secrets. With my 22 years of study abroad counseling experience, I want to give it to my students because there are so many students who don't take proper counseling or who are not registered with any counseling services. And it is difficult. It is very bad or sad to see when these students get refused and they come to us and there are millions probably who don't even come to us and give up on their dreams. When you are young, you are energetic, you have so much to achieve, so much to dream and so much to basically fulfill. This is the age that probably when I was young, I had so much of energy. I wanted to do, do so many things and probably at that time I was looking for people who can give me advices. We never had an internet or YouTube at that point of time. So it was difficult to find information. So we had to do a lot of hard work. At least now you have internet and you have YouTube. So therefore we decided that let's come out with a YouTube series so that at least all the students are guided well and they can you know, reach their study abroad destination and are able to fulfill their dreams. So thank you very much, you know, for your like, share and subscription for making the videos reach out to millions, obviously billions, even if they have reached right now, few, uh, let's say uh, 50s or 60, you know, maybe shares or whatever. I'm sure this will go and reach millions and billions in future and more, more and more students will be benefited to this. That's the whole and sole purpose. And you are the key driver of sharing and spreading this. So I leave it up to you guys to do that. And I always believe one thing in life that when you do good, you get good. So I also believe that when you share, you know, good things will come to you as well. So do share it, do like it. Now let's start with the today's topic. Today's topic, I'm going to talk about odd questions. What are odd questions, odd visa questions? You know, the visa officer is aware that, you know, most there are a few good visa counselors who are preparing students for the visas. 
So, you know, so they feel that the purpose of visa interview is not solved because the you the students come prepared, they are aware compared to some students who are not prepared, who are not aware. So they come out with some odd questions so that to understand whether the student who has been prepared for the visa is able to answer those questions or not. So those are odd questions. Questions out of syllabus. Questions that you will not find anywhere. Moreover, I have covered good number of questions. You will not find such questions anywhere. So if you are looking for US student visa, go to the visa series and this series will help you to get your US student visa. Okay, I'm very confident on that. Confident because of my 22 years of experience, confident because of my about 90% visa success rate. This time I have assumed 100%. So this is all because of that, that I'm basically coming out with the visa series. And I hope you are able to take the advantage of this visa series for your personal study abroad. So odd questions. Let me start, tell you the first odd question. Okay, where do you stay? Now you'd be, you know, where do you stay? So probably you may be staying in Sikandrabad, or basically you may be staying in Delhi, you may be staying in Lucknow, you may be staying in Punjab, you may be staying in Mumbai, okay, wherever wherever in basically whichever place you stay you mention that place that i'm staying in so and so place for how long you have been staying so you know i have been staying for my birth i have been staying for the last 10 years 15 years 20 years is it your own property yes it is my own my father has owns the property yes it's a own property if it is a rented property then do you know then basically visa officer will say that uh, you know will have a little doubt on your basically that you are not well set, settled in india you are not well established in india so the question is is it your own property yes on if it is no then basically you can say basically my father has a business so he has invested in business and uh, when we are basically staying on a rented property, our own properties in so and so place, native place or whichever place. So that's first odd question. Where do you stay? Is it a posh locality? Okay, so you say yes. What type of basically uh, uh, no residence do you have? Is it a bungalow or a flat or whatever you want to say? Okay, so the first question could be on your residence. Where do you stay? The second odd question is basically uh, that the visa officer could be asked you, how did you come for the visa interview? So you say I came with my parents. So I came, uh, so I came, you know, driving myself or I came by public transport. So they, if they basically you say, I, I came by driving, then do you own a car? What car make do you have? Do you have a license? Are you planning to drive in US? These questions will come. If basically, and, uh, and the other question that could be related is, where are your parents now? So they are standing outside uh, the consulate waiting for me to come back. So these could be second type of odd questions, which is basically, how did you come for the visa interview? The third type of visa questions that could be basically what plan, what things do you plan to carry to US? So, you know, jeans, t-shirts, books, utensils, warm clothes, leather jackets are some of the things that I plan to carry to US. There could be other questions also or which could always come up, which I will basically, it is very difficult. Basically, do you cook? Okay, what's your favorite dish? How do you prepare that dish? Uh, you know, there could be different types of odd questions that the visa officer could ask sometime and they will keep on asking it. 
okay so but majorly 95 percent of the questions um, i would say not not even 95 i would say 98 percent of the questions are there in this visa series so refer them because i sincerely believe that this visa series at least will empower you will give you that knowledge will give you that understanding and will prepare you for your visa interview so that you are confident to answer the visa questions and get your US visa. Regarding myself, I'm Richard Lasrado, MBA with 22 years of study abroad counseling experience. And if you are looking to have a study abroad counseling to me, then click on the calendar link, which is provided in the description. The first Zoom appointment is free, where I'm going to basically understand your profile, evaluate your profile, help you guide you in your entire process will tell you the entire process how it is you know and then basically if you are interested then you can register for our study abroad counseling service remember to like share subscribe spread it to millions billions and make the video popular do good so that good can happen to you all the best have a good day take care